Welcome to NIBM Global. Today, I'm going to have a webinar on Need Hierarchy Theory by Abraham Maslow. We all human beings live and exist. And Abraham Maslow has brought out a Need Hierarchy Theory. We also call it the Pyramid of Abraham Maslow, Maslow's Hierarchy Pyramid. These are the different ways in which this particular theory is being well known to the world outside. According to Maslow, within every human being, people tend to step up the ladder of success, step up the ladder of change. And he says that the people follow a hierarchy of needs. Basically, people, first of all, might have the basic physiological needs, as the Hindi goes, Hindi word goes like roti kapda makan, this physiological, the safety, the social, esteem, and finally the self-actualization. And Maslow says that the people steps up or climbs these ladder, these stages in a very orderly fashion. That is, first of all, people are at the basic stage where the people try to acquire the physiological needs. So, okay, the, the first point I would like to say, the first stage of Maslow's need hierarchy theory is the physiological need stage, where these are the basic needs of air, water, food, clothing and shelter. The basic things for a man to survive. You can see people on streets, we, you can see people surviving, trying to survive in the slums, people trying to survive in the third world countries where their basic necessity or what their aim in life is to sustain themselves with the basic physiological needs of food, water, air, clothing and shelter. So in other words, physiological needs are the needs for the basic amenities of life. Now, after the physiological needs comes the safety needs. Now, once these people, once the people have uh, a house, a basic amenities in a house, they have the basic lighting, they may have the basic oxygen, everything. Once all these basic things are met, what comes next is the safety needs. I need to make sure that the small house that I have made, the small world of mine that I have made, I want to make it safe. Now, safety needs include physical safety, environmental and emotional safety and protection. Now, for instance, the job security, when it comes to the organization parlance, the job security, the protection from animals, the family security, health security, all these are like safety needs. You need to make sure once you have the physiological or the survival needs, the next need that a man have is the safety need. Next one is something like People are like, they have their house, they have all the safety measures being there, they have made sure that their life is safe, their employment is safe, then they slowly go high. They want to become social, they want to be uh, having social friends, social groups, they want in need of social acceptances, like social needs include the need for love, the need for affection, the need for care, belongingness and friendship. So this is the next stage which Abraham Maslow claims after the physiological safety and the next comes the social needs. Once a social need is met, they have their own family, they have their own love, they have their own children to take care. Then what need that comes up next is the esteem need. Esteem needs are of two types, internal esteem as well as external esteem. Now internal esteem could be something like self-respect that I give it for, give importance for myself. Could be confidence that I feel confident because I'm having this much of things, amenities with me, I have the house, I have the safety measures, I have the uh, love, affection and belongingness needs are met. Now I need esteem needs of of internal uh, internal parlance where I have confidence I have competence maybe in terms of my work in terms of my skills I have competence 
uh, have the achievement been done uh, with all these things i try to achieve something and finally i become free i become a f i become a free bird this is in terms of in esteem needs internal it could also be external esteem needs like recognition power status attention and admiration you need recognition you need a status you need more power and control of that particular group maybe you need attention and admiration from your peers from people that you see and the last and final one is the self actualization need now before that as of now the first one was the physiological become the safety became love affection and then became the esteem needs now once all these needs are met that you have become an esteemed personality that you are you are already got through this uh, basic needs the last one is a self actualization need now when it comes to self actualization this include the urge to become what you are capable of becoming what you have the potential to become that means the ultimate point that with what you are that you can become it also includes a need for growth and self contentment it could be something like you are uh, contented with what you are now it's so it's so been said that the richest person is the person who are, who is contented with what he is now it is also includes a desire for gaining more knowledge social service creativity and being an aesthetic the self actualization needs are never fully satiable now that is one bigger problem no person can become fully satisfied with things they might be a rare few who become satisfied and they become self actualized become one with the universe they become one with god and they become one in tranquilization now self actualization needs are not fully satiable for common man as an individual grows psychologically opportunities keep cropping up and continue growth now there are many poet poems there are many poet poets who speak about this that it is the the in un can un what do you say the person people on this earth are unconceived or rather they are not able to satisfy their thirst their internal urges so self actualization is something that is unachievable or rather it is a little difficult for a common man to achieve the real self actualization but you can at least try to attain that now what is the implication of maslow's need hierarchy theory for the management parlance for the managers as far as for the psychological needs are concerned the managers should give employees appropriate salaries to purchase the basic necessities of life breaks and eating opportunities should be given to the employees and as far as the safety needs are concerned the managers should provide the employees job security safe and hygienic work environment and retirement benefits so as to retain them as far as the social needs are concerned the management should encourage team work and organize social events where they can be a social beings where they mix up with their peers as far as for the esteem needs are concerned managers can appreciate and reward employees on accomplishing and exceeding their targets the management can give the deserving employees higher job rank and position in the organization now when it comes to self esteem needs the managers can give the employee challenging jobs in which the employee skills and competencies are fully utilized moreover growth opportunities can be given to them so that they can reach the peak and the pinnacle of success the managers must identify the need at each level that each employee is existing and then those need has to be utilized and pushed to get the maximum out of each employees now there are a lot of criticisms that has been come for need hierarchy theory of maslow maslow's need hierarchy theory the very blankly says that each human being climbs the ladder of need hierarchy theory that is once one stage is been completed only then he goes to the next stage now the needs may not follow a definitive hierarchical order for example even if the safety needs is not satisfied the social need may emerge that he might um, need to socialize or he might require love that is that can also happen the need priority model may not apply in all times in all places the level of motivation may be permanently lower for some people for some for example a person suffering from chronic unemployment may sat may be satisfied for the rest of the life only if he gets enough food so that can also happen so there are some criticism against maslow's need hierarchy theory 
but still we can still believe that the Maslow's contribution to this particular area of psychology or the behavior uh, of human beings is truly stupendous truly good and I would just con conclude by summarizing the five different stages or the or the pyramid that he is trying to portray them Abraham Maslow was trying to portray at the basic you have this physiological needs the needs for hunger, thirst, shelter, sex and other survival needs. Next is the safety needs where you have security, stability and protection from physical or uh, emotional harm. Then you have the belonging next needs where you have social interaction, affection, companionship and friendship. The fourth one is the esteem needs where you gain self-respect, autonomy, achievement, status recognition and attention. The last but the least at the pinnacle you have the self-actualization where you have growth, self-fulfillment and achieving one's true and maximum potential. This is all about Abraham Maslow's Need Hierarchy Theory. This webinar was for NIBM Global and I am Jitin Benedict. Thank you.